In this video I will take a quick look at the Fuji X-T3. A camera that I think might be the one that finally nudges the X-H1 from the throne as the most bang for buck Fuji camera. I haven't used this camera more than a couple of weeks and only together with one lens, the Viltrox 75mm f1.2. But I have used a lot of Fuji gear including the X-T1 and X-T2 so I can still make some comments. And they are all pretty much the same. Therefore I will keep it short, most of what's worth mentioning has already been said over and over in my other Fuji videos. Now before the Fuji fanboy online militia attacks, let me clarify that I mean that in the most positive way I can. That Fuji provides pretty much the same camera with some variations in design and functionality letting us decide which part of the camera we prioritize is fantastic. One of my favorite things about the X-T3 is the screen design. This is in my opinion the best screen design they made apart from the Fuji X-Pro3. But with that said, I don't think the X-Pro3 screen should be on any other Fuji than the X-Pro3. The fully articulated screen on the X-T4 is an absolute deal breaker for me and you will most likely never see me review it, no matter how cheap it gets. Speaking of, the X-T3 can be had at a steal right now. With both the 4 and 5 out there, lots of people are looking to offload. For a long time, the X-H1 has been the most affordable on the used market among their top tier pro cameras. You lose the top display by going for the X-T3, but in my opinion it might be worth it since it's more comfortable to use and the controls are very cleverly laid out. Personally, I don't like the grip of the X-T line nor the X-H line, but there is an easy fix. The battery grip for the X-T3 makes the camera complete, in my opinion. It feels like it's exactly how it should have been made in the first place, and the extra controls makes the two-way tilt screen even more perfect for vertical shots. Image quality-wise, you are getting a top-notch camera, no complaints whatsoever. It's decently fast as well, the autofocus isn't on par with the fastest sports shooters, but it would still be usable for that as well. For casual video, Fuji has been more than good enough ever since the X-Pro2, in my opinion, even for some pro work. So who do I think could buy this camera in 2023 and enjoy it? I would say any hobby shooter that wants to step up to a top tier camera and wants to learn photography inside and out in both manual and various auto modes. Any pros that doesn't shoot primarily sports or more than 50% video. And of course any shooter that gets inspired by Fuji cameras but feels that the X-T10 and the X-E line are too small and that doesn't feel the love for the X-Pro or the X-H. An alternative to consider is obviously the X-T2 that's almost for free now. But if they are only one or two hundred dollars apart where you shop, then I wouldn't hesitate going for the X-T3. If you wanted it as cheap as possible, you would go for the X-T1 anyway. That's it. What older cameras are you targeting on the used market for 2023? Let us know below. Also feel free to follow me on Instagram.